Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the new series that I'm starting. I'm still going to make videos on Azure 70-533, but uh, though I've covered all the topics in brief, uh, I will cover and add more topics in the existing playlist that I've made and I will also try to add more playlists as and when required, but this is the new uh, series that we are starting it's that is the azure powershell i'm going to tell you how to use azure powershell and how to import the modules and do beautiful and n number of things in azure using azure powershell so Azure PowerShell provides a set of commandlets that use the Azure Resource Manager. As you know that Azure Resource Manager, initially we have Azure Classic portal. Then we have Azure Resource Manager, which brings in the, uh, the usage of network security groups and many new features in the existing Azure. So as of now, we only use ARM. We do ARM templates, ARM deployments, and the Azure PowerShell is also the part of it. And you can use it in your browser with Azure Cloud Shell. See, to use Azure PowerShell with the set of commandlets to use for the ARM deployments, you install the, download the Azure PowerShell module and you run it on your Windows computer. But if you want to do the same thing in your browser, uh, there is a section called Azure Cloud Shell through which you can use the same commands rather and you will not have to install Azure PowerShell on your local computer or any other server on which you're trying to do the Azure PowerShell things. And Azure PowerShell is designed for managing and administrating Azure resources from the command line. Whatever you can do, we can do from the portal. You can do the same things from the uh, command line interface using the Azure PowerShell module. It helps us in building the automation scripts that runs against the Azure Resource Manager. You can use uh, n number of things, whatever things we can achieve from the portal, from auto scaling, creating, deletion, updation, managing, configuring. We can do the same with uh, provide the automation using Azure PowerShell. It is not uh, as the same for the other automation tools that we have. Infrastructure automates look Talentable, uh, the Ansible, Terraform. A cloud in it, Puppet, Chef, Azure Automation, but that in the background using Azure's PowerShell. And we can use it in our browser with Azure Cloud Shell as install, as I told you. I'll show you how to install the Azure Cloud Shell. It, it makes the storage account in your portal to use the Azure Cloud Shell. So, simple. Uh, install Azure PowerShell. Go to this link. I'll mention the link in the description of the video. And uh, you can see the section on this link to install, to download the Azure PowerShell module. Install the Azure PowerShell module. When you will download the the package to install PowerShell, you have to install the modules for Azure Resource Manager. So this is the name of the module is Azure RM. You have to give this command install dash module space dash name. The name of the module is Azure RM. Make sure that you are running uh, the PowerShell integrated script editor that is ISC or PowerShell as an administrator. Sign in after you have installed the modules. You have to use connect dash Azure RM account. It'll pop up a window to enter your username and password, or you can use a login dash Azure RM account. I'll show you how to do it. Then you have to update the Azure PowerShell module, and then it'll be done. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and show you how to do it. Okay, so this is the page that I was talking about. HTTPS colon wackwackzero.microsoft.com slash en dash in dash downloads. If you will, if you don't want to browse, if you just control F and PowerShell, Windows install. So if you just click on Windows install, if you don't want to go through the documentation, you will have an option to save this file. Save this file, double click on it, and you'll be able to install the PowerShell on your local computer. Okay. After you have installed the PowerShell, you just have to press Windows key 
look for PowerShell, run as an administrator, all right, and if you guys remember the command, it was this install dash module dash name is your RMI, I've already done that. So install dash I've already installed it, that is why let's see what it does. Okay, by default, uh, uh, you will get this message. It says you are installing the module from an untrusted repository. If you trust this repository, change its installation policy value by running this set period. Are you sure you want to install the module from PS Gallery? Say yes to all. See, I told you it's already installed on my computer. Okay. So connect. You'll get this pop up. As soon as you type connect as your RM account, enter in your user ID the way you add it for the portal. Click on next. Come on, it will ask for your password. Sign in. Voila, account is this, subscription name is this, my subscription ID, my tenant ID, and my environment is Azure Cloud. Really simple. If you want to update the module, Just type in update dash module space dash name. There's your RM. See it's verb dash noun. Update is a verb dash is module is a noun. So verb dash noun then which name you want to the name of the module that you want to install minus name is the parameter and the value for that parameter would be the Azure RM. So this is the logic behind it. We'll see more of it in the coming videos. It says you are installing. It's same for everything. If I click yes, it says it's already installed or maybe it'll update the existing modules. Let's see. It takes few seconds. So don't think that your computer got hanged or anything like that. No, it takes it, it takes its time and then does it. So you got the basic idea of what we are trying to achieve here. So this is what we wanted to do. Azure PowerShell. I hope it was informative to you. I hope you found it useful for your day to day activities. I'll make more videos in this series. I know there are few videos left in the DevOps series as well. I am working on it. So You'll see more on DevOps and Azure PowerShell and, and you'll also see a bit of the Azure 70-533 and it would be great if you guys uh, can comment under the videos on the topics that you want me to make videos for Azure 70-533 and as soon as I complete the series on Azure PowerShell, I'm going to start series on AWS Solution Architect Associate Level uh, Training. So next time have a great day ahead.